Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. We are back in Surfside Pleasure Pier for another episode. We're at the back end of the pier, uh, the last chunk that's really undeveloped. And I said we were going to work on a stage, so here it is. You might be a little underwhelmed. That's a small stage, you might be saying. Yeah, it is. It's a small stage. I didn't want anything big. I wanted it to be a small stage. I actually really like how well this, this silly little barbershop quartet fits. Someone asked if it, who's going to be headlining the stage. Ah, the barbershop quartet. <laughs> the Planko barbershop quartet are going to be on the stage. Um, but the one in Galveston, oops, bump my mic. The one in Galveston is probably a little bit bigger than this one. In fact, I'm almost positive it's bigger than this one. Um, but... I kind of like the quaintness of the little one here. Uh, it's pretty okay. It, it, I think the longer the video goes on, the, the more, if you're like kind of on the fence about it right now, I think the more you're gonna like it as it gets completed and some details are added. It just takes a few details to really kind of sell it. So eh, I'm okay with it. I asked, uh, you might've seen, I sunk a Vista point into it <laughs> and made the band the attraction and it's so cool to see people come over here and check them out and clap and yay take pictures and walk away i really like that that's a neat little feature i've never i don't think i've ever used a vista point before uh not intentionally at least so that was kind of cool to see so kind of fun um so man i bumped my mic again today went back to work and uh for the first time since summer getting everything up and running, I guess. Uh, still got a week and a half before the kids come, but it was uh, it was interesting going back to work. I'm I'm exhausted today because I really didn't didn't do <laughs> didn't do much of anything at work today. Took a whole bunch of instruments out and put them in their proper places and got some scheduling stuff done and all that boring stuff that you know comes with the territory of your of your teaching career. So, but it was nice to go back. Uh, it was nice to feel like, oh yeah, my career. This is what it is. And uh, I enjoy, I, I, it makes me, doing doing YouTube like this, like I did hard, especially the last month, uh, like this summer has been the, uh, the, you know, the summer of daily content, and uh, it's been really fun, I've really enjoyed doing that, but getting back into work and, and getting set for another year of teaching music, it's like, oh yeah, this is, this is my number one passion, and, and I miss it, and so it's, it'll be it'll be fun to start a new year. Got some really big things coming up in my in my real life in my real career, so it, it's been nice to to refocus here uh, today and this next week and get back into um, what I went to school for because <laughs> I didn't go to school for YouTube. <laughs> That'd be cool, a YouTube degree. I could go for that. Now that being all that being said, if I could ever make enough. <laughs> As a YouTuber to uh, sustain, I would totally do that. Like, I love my job. Don't get me wrong. Love my career. Uh, but if I could do full-time YouTube and be a stay-at-home dad, oh, my God, I would do that in a heartbeat. So, basically, I mean, you know, this whole spiel is just for uh, me to tell you to make sure you watch every single one of my videos all the way through and to, um, you know, tell everyone you know to watch every single one of my videos all the way through and um, subscribe and all that stuff so I can earn enough so that I can quit my uh, career and, <laughs> and become a YouTuber full time. No, I'm kidding. That's probably not going to happen, even if, especially now that I've asked you to. That's, that's definitely not going to happen, is it? <laughs> oh, well... Oh well. I guess we should talk about what's on the screen, huh? Yeah, we. Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> anyway, I blew by that entire stage build because it was pretty self-explanatory. That's the thing in this episode. Um, there's nothing uh, earth-shattering, shall we say? Uh, it's a shop. I'm gonna build a building. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna build a well, an adult beverage stall, which is rather difficult considering we don't have those in Planet Coaster. And we're going to attach a restroom to it because we need one back here. We've got one at the front, one in the middle, and we need one here at the back as well. So we're going to add that. Um, but you've seen, I mean, if you've watched all now 15 episodes of this, you've seen me build these types of buildings several times. I feel kind of like, uh, you, uh, do I even need to make the video? Like, as long as you're enjoying it, then that's cool. But you know, if it reaches a point where it's like, we've seen this before, ah, yeah. So that's kind of my, my little, um, I guess, hesitation is there's nothing earth-shatteringly new 
I guess you could just watch like the process of a different building shape. There's some slight. I, I guess the, the 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 interesting thing is to see how even using the same few materials for every building, you can get variety and get some unique looking structures, um, just by adding a little thing like a little tower in front here, or your color, or the types of trim you're using, or the roof line, the type of roof you're using, where how what the roof line looks like. I mean. I think that's the, the takeaway, I guess, from this video here, is while there's nothing new, um, just the variety of using the different ways to use these pieces to create different shapes, I think is the most important part. Uh, there was a discussion on Bronation. Someone posted in uh, Open RCT. is that what it's called, I think? Uh, how do they make their buildings look better? And the building was um, basically a rectangle. Uh, and my suggestion, and this goes for any game, it doesn't matter what the game is, Play with different shapes, have uh, extensions, have different roof lines, have different uh, slopes, pitches, all that kind of stuff. That's the stuff you can do to really make a limited palette. Like we have the same few textures here. You can really do a lot of different things just by changing up the shape. Like we have a building that's a 45 degrees. We got, you know, two buildings connected or one building that's like you know, a 45 degree corner. And then that tower in the middle kind of solidifies, which by the way, the tower is too tall. <laughs> Don't like the tower at all. And if you're like, what is that giant BN? Um, well, that's the official logo for the Discord server Bronation that, that I talk about a lot. And that's linked in the description below where Mike and I and all the other bros hang out along with 900 and some other fine friends. Um, some play, most play Planet Coaster, some don't. Most um, enjoy hanging out, and we have, we just started a food and a beer chat. So if you're into either of those two things, you want to come talk about those two things, we've got a channel for you on Bronation. And we obviously, we're a Planet Coaster-centric Discord. Ob. and But that's where you can find me and Mike and all the other people. Probably if you like, even like Silverette's a, a member and stuff like that, uh, but yeah, so if you're looking for a cool Planet Coaster community to come hang out at, Bronation is where it's at. So I made that logo uh, actually for the, the gentlemen of Jubilee Garden, the Jubilee Garden gents. I made it for them when I built in their park. And now it's kind of gone all over the place. I've spammed that logo in a couple different projects of mine, and there are some people on Bronation that are asking for it. And I'm more than happy to share these logos. So, um, you know, I, I, I do that for those people. So, uh, yeah, that's our Discord server logo, and it's now become its own little brewery. One of my passions, I have several passions in life. Passion number one is music. Passion number two is roller coasters, and then baseball and, and beer. Those are things I really enjoy in life. So we have a Brew Nation, Bro Nation brewery called Brew Nation. And so on the pier here, we're having a Bro Nation tap house where you can go and get some fine local craft beers named after members of the Bro Nation community. So we'll be adding their names to this in a little bit. One of the things here that actually really helped with making my roofs with the uh, seat art pieces is... Um, being able to to make the overhangs the exact size I wanted. When you're using the uh, the gridded roof pieces, you're stuck to the quarter tile, which is fine for a lot of the times. But if you want just a little bit of roof hanging over, you either have to make a totally custom roof like this, or you have to duplicate a, a gridded roof piece and then separate it from the building and make it its own building, which then makes it really hard to move, which makes it a little more difficult to move around if you want to move the building around. So it was actually, uh, it was nice to say, well, I'm going to just make custom, custom roofs for this and it'll all turn out just fine. And I think it did. So, um, I wasn't sold on the building until, you know, until it got pretty far along. And that's usually the case. I think I mentioned that in the previous episode. If you're like, oh, this building looks like garbage, just keep building. Just keep building and keep putting the details in. And more often than not, you're going to start to like the building. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes you'll get almost done and say, well, that's terrible and just have to start over. I've done that before. But uh, yeah. And so these colors, if you're like, these are garish. Well, these are the colors on the logo and the colors in our server and so that's why i made i mean yeah it's it's, it's a tad bright <laughs> it's a giant ass pink building i'm i'm aware of how bright it is but i i like it i don't mind it at all so 
<laughs> um, and then after, and so we're just putting the signage on. Someone in a previous video mentioned that I was putting too many signs sunk into the wall. So um, this building is just for you because I don't think I do that at all in this building. So <laughs> see, I listen to the feedback <laughs> and sometimes I oblige, sometimes I don't. But usually if I disagree with you in the comments, um, I'm going to tell you why I disagree with you or what my thought process was, why I chose what I chose. Um, if you're going to just know that everything I've done more often, oh, no, that's stupid. More often, everything I've done more often than not, well, more often than not, the things I've put in are, are, are intentional and for a reason. And so if I disagree with you, I will always try to tell you the reason why the thing that you don't like is the way it is. And sometimes you'll have a valid point and I'll change it. Other times I'll say, thank you, but no thank you. And it's just the way it is, I guess, huh? <laughs> but I am always appreciative of your feedback, positive, negative, and otherwise. I don't know what else there is, but ambivalent. If you just don't care, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, slapping that custom tower roof on. Uh, this white trim here, I, it's, I don't like it. It's a little too thick. However, um, <laughs> It's supposed to look like it matches the rest of the building. I don't know. I might rotate it 90 degrees on each side and, and see if that helps it. It just feels too almost painted on. Even when I raise it a little bit, it looks a little better, but I'm not 100% satisfied with that. So I might I might give that a, re, a revisit. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the sign to the brewery, the, the beer, the tap list and um, I think it's fun. I, I always like coming up with these. There are some, there's um, Uakins and uh, Gravity on Bronation that are making a whole food and food and beer festival of a whole bunch of carts and they're naming all their foods and all their beverages off of members of Bronation. Super fun. I've dabbled in that a little bit when I made a brewery for the Jubilee guys, like I mentioned earlier. And ever since one of the early episodes of Bro Coaster, Bandit IPA has been a thing. It actually has its own custom sign. Maybe I'll try and find a way to incorporate it into the building here. Because I, I really, it was one of my very first custom signs. And I did a, oh, this is actually kind of fun. I kind of enjoy making custom signs. So I, I went for it. And we're putting here, the percentage is the alcohol by volume. So like a goes is a very low alcohol beer. So as a session, it's a session ale, something you could drink all day long without really having any negative effects. Because <laughs> a lot of times the local, the craft beers are, are higher, a little higher in alcohol, a little more intense than your mass produced Pilsners and all that. So I should have a beer blog. <laughs> Thumbs up if you'd uh, give a like in the comments, or give a like and in, in, in the comments if you want to hear a uh, a beer blog. Nobody wants to hear a beer blog, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> but I like beer, so I used to hate it. I used to hate all alcohol. I didn't drink even until uh, after I turned 21, and I didn't even like beer until I moved down to Texas at 25. And even then, it took me a couple of years to, to to get into it. So. Now I brew my own and all that kind of stuff. I actually do brew my own beer, so I haven't in a long time. I need to get back to it, actually. So, but now I'm rambling officially. Uh, I love how garish these bright, <laughs> bright yellow railings are. I dig it. It's to obviously um, tie the into the uh, star flyer there. And then I wanted a, a break up from the actual pier pillars with these big fat ones from the spoopy pack. I like those a lot. Um, I think they work really well as like a, oh man, we had to build this extension. Like these, these, these were built at a different time than the rest of the pier pillars. I think that, that that's kind of a interesting, maybe that's the story that's being told here. Um, yeah. So actually today's video is um, a little bit shorter. And I think you can expect them from now on to be a little bit shorter than, uh, maybe even shorter than this, because I am at that point where there's really not a lot of new and exciting things to add. I, I mean, that's kind of been the theme of the video today. And um, I don't want to record stuff that's redundant and not fun to watch. And my thought is, if it's not that much fun to build, it's probably not that much fun to watch. So I do still need to get the um, POV of the dark ride out to everyone, and, and that might even be be the next Surfside quote video. It wouldn't be an episode, but that might be the next video you see from Surfside. Um, and then I might have just 
a couple more videos where it's all over the map as I, I do some more details. Uh, like, I, I'll definitely take the time to show you what I end up doing with the Grand Ballroom, which I'm deciding now is probably going to be not really in use very much, except for, like, special functions. It's just a historic building on the pier that they've preserved. It doesn't serve much of a purpose other than to be a nice backdrop for the pier. And I'm okay with that, so... That means that it's just detail time and little buildings and just clutter and all that stuff, which can be fun for a bit, but I don't want to devote the three or four episodes it would probably take to get all that done. So the last thing I dropped down are these awesome trampolines from Mineral, which he used in No Name Landia, and they're super great. So they are an awesome addition to the pier, and I think they fit perfectly right there. So we're already at the cinematics. Like I said, a shorter episode today. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any more Surfside or any other Planet Coaster or any of the other games we play here on the channel. So have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye, everyone.